you know, I've been wanting to do uh, another grappler build video for quite a while, but I've been I've been mostly just um, supposed to work procrastinating on doing that. But now with the new moves that came out, especially demonic destruction, the new grab, I figured now would be the best time to go over it. So this is the current build I'm using. Fierce Fist, Nemic Finger, Demonic Destruction, Darkness Rush, Maximum Charge, Justice Combination. As far as transformation, any transformation well, other than Giant for the Namekians and the pure Majin for the, uh, for the Majins. And was it that the humans have <clears throat> flying Nimbus? So none of these race specific transformations for anyone who isn't an Ice Gen or a Saiyan. For the Mechans, Earthlings, and and the Majins, def definitely the universal transformations. For this one, I'm using Beast. Which is good for, <coughs> excuse me. Which is good for any character that is, that usually has a lot of health. Or if you're just that good at avoiding damage to begin with. So one, one of the cool things about Fierce Fist, I almost keep wanting to call it Flame Fist because the aura around it looks like fire. Yeah, look at that. Like I said, it almost looks like straight up fire. Whoops. So, Fierce Fist, what's cool is that it charges up to three times and it charges pretty quickly. And. I forget the name of this one move. It's a projectile that I think it's Khalifa who has it. A projectile that can be charged, and the more you charge it, the more damage it does, but you can hold on to it, cancel it, and still get that same charge later when you use it. Like this. Three charges. One charge. Two. And no charge. And the best thing about it is that if you say like you get one charge, that means you have two charges left. So if you charge it again, it will give you just that, just other two charges. Almost like a placeholder. So a good move to have, just to have a chargeable strike to combo into. Or if you want to throw it out there, even though there's the risk of it, um, of them blocking it. But that's with a lot of strike moves. Throwing them out raw, there's always that risk of them blocking it. Demonic Destruction, yet another new grab. I'm always a sucker for new command grab. So, like Gigantic Rage, it does more damage than Nemic Finger. But like Nemic Finger, unlike Gigantic Rage, it so it doesn't do as, I don't think it does as much damage as Gigantic Rage, but it does come out a lot faster, so you can combo into it. So you can combine that with Nanic Finger, kind of go for a bit of a reset. Especially if you're doing online missions and you've got your teammate distracting the opponent for a little bit. And it's just so satisfying. That was a bad idea. And especially if you want to get your opponent to the ground as quickly as possible. Combo into that. Cancel immediately into the amount of destruction. Go spike into the ground. Keep the combo going.
also I don't know if I showed this before in a previous video but the beast combo at least to let's see the third hit before the last two that right there the gut punch before the aura blast can combo into darkness rush provided that your opponent has their stamina broken Unfortunately, that combo does not work if their stamina hasn't been broken. Like, they can have less than half a bar of stamina left, and they would still recover in time out of that. And I just got just this combination here, just another ultimate that you can combo into directly. Of course with that you can go you can have any ultimate that you want. Just to definitely have darkness rush for that secondary for that secondary grab. So definitely as far as a grappling build, this one can hit pretty heavy. Even if there are other, plenty of other ultimates that hit, that do more damage than just this combination, just this combination, just because I'm... I don't think there's any other ultimate that, or at least any of the strike ultimates, yeah, um, just this combination is the fastest. And here's another one, a pure grappling build, got gigantic rage, nemet finger, demonic destruction, and drain charge. I don't think I need to showcase. Yeah, I'm not gonna showcase this one. But just say that one thing I learned is that circle. Did I already say that circle flash? It's unblockable. I tested it, and yeah, let me just show that real quick just to prove it. I like this stage. A nice alternative would be some of the lower areas to fight in where Piccolo and Gamma 2 were having their battle. Or even that underground area where Gohan and Gamma 1 were briefly fighting in in the movie. Some opponents will have to be careful fighting you knowing that all of your attacks are unblockable. Yeah, I hate how they nerfed Namek Finger so long ago to where now it has that significant startup. Because originally it would come out instantly. And now, like I said, it has that bit of startup to it. Like, it doesn't take forever, but still annoying. But definitely, definitely, it's, it's everything else about it still works. Still has pretty good range, and you can still combo afterwards. So now onto Circle Flash. So like I said, I got them blocking. So it's like a grab, but using key instead of your actual hands. And it, it doesn't like home in immediately on the opponent. I, it, it has some level of tracking, but like I said, it's not like a homing projectile. Like your opponent can dodge to the side. It's not gonna chase after them. <laughs> But if I'm landing it, even from a from maximum distance that you can be, it will still it will still bring you close to the opponent. Say so you can be super far away. So 
So like I said, it's like a grab, a projectile type of grab. So if you want to have a pure grappling build, you can have this, Darkness Rush, Gigantic Rage, Demonic Destruction, Drain Charge, Namek Finger, if you have a Namekian, and any other any of the other uh, grabs that they have if you're playing as any non-Namekian. Still weird they don't have a move like this for the Majins, even though the Majins can stretch their limbs. Oh well, nothing I can do about it. So this is my default grappler build. Apocalyptic Burst, Darkness Rush, Demonic Finger, I mean, I mean Namic Finger, I almost said Demonic Finger. Demonic Destruction, Gigantic Rage. So anyone who's played this game for a while knows how Gigantic Rage, Namic Finger, Darkness Rush work already. So I'm gonna use this build to show off Apocalyptic Burst. So moves that allows you to cancel out of a super attack into an ultimate. I don't know how many there are, but I do know. What's that one uh, Gogeta Blue has? Comet, yeah, Comet Strike. So Comet Strike and Justice Blade, quick note. Those two moves you can cancel out of into Apocalyptic Burst and it'll combo. It's just that when you do it from Justice Blade, for some weird reason, when you when you can, you gotta cancel it as soon as possible. You gotta cancel Justice Blade into Apocalyptic Burst as soon as possible. But when you do, you have to charge up Apocalyptic Burst. It's only like a quick charge, not super long. But for some reason, you gotta do that when you hit them with the Justice Blade and cancel into it for, to get it to reach. I guess maybe it just gives that little extra bit of range. You can also combo into it from the beast combo, but if I remember, it, it, it can only work on a stamina break. Hey, they kind of cut that for a second. Let me see. Whoops. I did not mean to <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Dang. I guess Siron just covers stamina very fast. But anyways, you can combo into it after after you break your opponent's stamina. Dang. So yeah, if you're gonna do stamina breaks and then go for a combo afterwards, either it's gonna work that's gonna work on an opponent who has a lot of stamina they have to recover first, or if they recover stamina very slowly. But if they have a low stamina bar and they recover stamina very quickly, then yeah, you're gonna have to cut your combos short. Whoops. Thought I had him on guard. There we go. So one thing I learned is that apocalyptic burst can break through guards. Alright, gotta have him guarding first. So that's just the basic non-charge, then charge it. Boom! Oh, something else I just learned. Apparently it breaks stamina. I just knew it when it, it when it said it breaks guards. I just I knew that because I read it on YouTube somewhere, but I didn't know it actually did stamina break or guard break like that. <laughs> I thought it just made it become unblockable. Which technically that is true. But that's only if you charge it up. Although the, the sound effect from the strikes aren't as very aren't as powerful, it doesn't sound as cool. 
So you can use this as like a grappler build. Um, a very heavy hitting strike grappler mix. A strike in the form, a strike ultimate in the form of apocalyptic burst, which does some pretty good damage, and unblockable for with darkness rush. And then you get demonic destruction. You can have a secondary grab of your choice, like key charge, or what's the name of that one that drains stamina? I forgot what that one's called. But anyways, any of those grabs that drain stamina, key, or both, Namek Finger for the Namekian, as well as Fierce Fist. That's cool, you can just knock your opponent away. Wait, can this be blocked? No, it's unblockable, even on guard. So no charge, level one. Level two. Yep, so fully charged, it's unblockable. But man, it does quite a bit of damage to one's uh, stamina. Oh, right. <laughs> So even if you don't fully charge it all the way and your opponent blocks it, that's a lot of stamina they're not getting. That's a lot of stamina they're losing. And they combine that with a strong transformation, like any of the Super Saiyan transformations. I don't know about Golden Ice Gen since Ice Gen only affects Key Blast, unfortunately. But anyways, so Beast, Kaioken, and for the Saiyans, Super Saiyan, and, and Potential Unleashed. All good Awoken skills to use. But when you any of your combos, if you're gonna combo into apocalyptic burst, then yeah, you can't hesitate, otherwise you're gonna drop the combo. Or if you use it to catch your opponent off guard. But it's not as easy to combo into apocalyptic burst, especially if you're fighting on a team, so don't easily knock them out of the way. Even just move them to the side, move them back slightly, because the kick has such short range. But between when you do the kick in the beginning, between the basic kick and the charged kick, not only does the charged kick break, so it breaks to people's stamina and becomes unblockable, but it also does more damage. Whoops. Very satisfying. This may be the best uh, grappler build I have so far. So if you want to have a character who's either more grapple based or more heavy hitting, but you want to have at least one good strike to do good damage and are out of combos, then an ultimate like apocalyptic burst due to the charged version being able to break stamina well, that's if the opponent's guarding. If the opponent's guarding when you hit them with it, then it will break their stamina and becomes unblockable. Wait, let me see. If they're just standing they're not, and they're not blocking. Nope. Okay, it'll still do more damage than the non-charged version. But it just won't break their stamina. But if you catch them slipping, then you get the bonus of the guard break. And you gotta move like Fierce Fist to charge up, do extra damage. If I ever talking doing it raw, or comboing into it. Because it is pretty easy to combo into. Try 
tracks after them from a pretty good distance. But I don't think it goes... Yeah, I don't think it'll go this far. No, but it does It does go a pretty good distance. So a good way of keeping up with your opponent. Man! From downtown! So yeah, it don't matter how far your opponent is. Not too many distances besides full screen outside of outside your character's range where they where you can lock on to them. So yeah, it's only out of out, outside of lock on range where they are truly safe. Because once you're able to pull them in, you can almost do whatever you want with them. Toss them here or there. Yeah, Demonic Destruction is a good grab. It does more damage than Nemic Finger. Not, but not as much as, I said, more damage than... Actually, let me switch to the other one. So not entirely a pure grappler build because it has apocalyptic burst, which is technically not a grab. Unless you do the charge surgery, which is unblockable. But it's not exactly impossible to combo into. It's just like, like with Darkness Rush, it's easier to combo into when you break your opponent's stamina. So move like that. So it's unfortunate that Beast has such a long trap a long transformation period compared to the other Awoken skills and the fact that it increases how much damage you take by 20%. With a different kind of, it, it basically it lends itself to so many different builds. It lends itself to other different builds, especially when it comes to guard break combos. Dang, what does Farah sound like she's moaning? That's weird. Unfortunately, Apocalyptic Burst on its own does not have any, um, it doesn't have like any armor. So your opponent can just easily hit you out of it, even with the most basic of attacks. Except for weak key blasts. Weak key blasts, it, it just ignores. But literally anything outside of that, it, Anything outside of weak key blast, it it doesn't stand a chance against. Dang it! So yeah, trying to do a vanish into demonic destruction, you're better off going for a gigantic rage. Or an epic thing because it's faster. Okay, never mind. I take that back. Yep, not every vanish combo is gonna work well. It does here. So that's one of its downsides. Just be mindful of. Just be very mindful of which move you use. Or which which normal you do a vanish out of if you're gonna try to immediately go into your, one of your grabs afterwards. And this is what I mean by boost lending itself to so many different moves, so many different combos that weren't possible before are now possible. Especially with stamina break. So I think I already mentioned that. So definitely it's very risky because of if you use something like Beast. But if you want something, let's see. 
I'm trying to think. Does Kaioken give a higher, a higher damage percentage? I didn't think it does. And unlike Beast, Kaioken, in any of his forms, Kaioken, Kaioken times three, and Kaioken times twenty, don't take anywhere near as long as Beast. So you're not as vulnerable. So that's a much faster transformation with a good amount of damage. Whereas for, wait, also does the beast only increase, no, it increases damage for key too. So you can have any kind of key, key blast equipped. I just like using strike supers because I like fighting up close more often, especially with my Namekian. But I don't really have much else to say. Oh yeah, I wanted, I wanted to show uh, the different damage between the grass, especially if you got in the mech in. So Nemec Finger... Whoa, I didn't know it did that much damage. Let's see, see, that's Demonic Destruction. Nemec Finger. So yeah, it does do a bit more damage. Gigantic Rage. Yeah, gig so yeah, Gigantic Rage still does more damage than Demonic Destruction. But that's really about it. So these new moves are definitely great for a grappler build. But anything that works great for a grappler build works especially for the Namekians, because they're the only ones who get a unique grab with Namek Finger. As far as the darkness rush ranged, if I remember the distance in which they stretch out their arm is the same amount of distance any non namekian will dash forward when going for the grab. Still makes no sense that Majin's don't get that because they, they also stretch their limbs. In fact, I say they probably do it more often than, than uh, Namekians do in lore when fighting. But I could be wrong. I'm going to do more videos going over some of the new moves that came out and see how they work in, in battle. But I'm also going to make another video comparing Beast to Kaioken because I want to see which one gets more damage. But that'll be for a later video. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. And oh, I could probably come up with some new builds for the other races besides my Namekians. That'd be pretty fun. So I hope y'all are looking forward to those videos. Well, I certainly am. Man, that looks good. Alright, it was fun making this video. So I hope y'all are looking forward to the other ones. And have a good day.